and welcome to the Audio Fabulistas weekly vlog number 68. Today I have something very nice for you again and first let's make some coffee. Yes, yeah, so for today I am going to make you an AeroPress and I'm doing the upside down system. So this is the plunger. Let's put it down here. You put this one right over it. It's actually very simple. You have your coffee. This thing can help you to put it in without making a mess. So that's already done. So the coffee is in there. Next thing is to fill it up with water. All the way up. Then you get this little thing with it, which is meant to give it a little steer. That's enough. And then you let it steep for a little bit. You have this little thing and a filter. And you just put the filter in there. And I made it wet. So what I'm doing is putting this on here. Taking this aside, you need your favorite cup and normally I would let it steep a little bit longer but this is what you do, you just put it on there, you just plunge it down, slowly, not too fast. until you hear the hiss. There's the hiss. Take it off. And there is your little cup of coffee. Now back to the vlog. Yeah, so I used two hands for that to film. And I just filmed it. So here is my nice cup of coffee. Let me have a drink. Very nice. Okay, what's up for today? Well, I'm still doing all the review things. And today I'm having the Sound Artist LS3 5As on the stand right over here. And some people made some remarks about what it, what the looks is of this thing with the staples and the Velcro and stuff like that. Because it is not beautiful and I agree, but you have to understand these, um, the market for these loudspeakers is mostly in Japan. And there's one thing that the Japanese stand on that it is as close to the original as possible and this is how the original was uh, created this is how they made it with the ugly look looking screws in there and stuff like that but you have to do it otherwise you won't sell these things in uh, japan so i agree it's not beautiful but if you want to sell this you have to and what better way, because this is of course the original BBC LS3 5As, and what better way to pair it with a colleague from the same time period, which is from Quad Audio, which is also of course a very um, important British company. So over here we have the Quad 34 preamplifier here on the top we have the quad fm4 
radio in the middle and the quad 306 power amplifier and the bottom and this is in the original stand which makes them look like they are floating I think this is beautiful now I once tried to take off also the, the feet off so it looks even more clean but these are screwed in and keep the stuff together so you can't really take them off um, anyways and the the bottom one because it's too heavy it's not floating but it's standing on the base of this stand so what do we have here just a quick overview you have a radio a record player called disc uh, input for cd and one tape recorder there's a mono button now if you are using the radio and the stereo fm system is coming through with a lot of noise sometimes it helps to play it with some mono so that's why that is there and these three are there for different curves for your record player depending on the cartridge that you have there's the connector for the treble bass there's balance right over here and there's of course the volume knob right over there this is the tuner can you see the display just a little bit and it has seven stations that you can program and what you do is you dial in the station that you want when put on tune and as soon as you have the one that you want you just push this and the one where you want to program it and there you see this has been programmed that's pretty pretty easy and the 306 just has the um, the heatsink on the front because the uh, the transistors the power transistors are right behind here so that is the part that is getting hot so let's have a look at the rear oh one more from the side with the official stand this stand also has a um, a foot a stand what's that called that you can buy below it but that's not really beautiful and very hard uh, to find okay let me put on some lights to show you this a little better and see if I can fit right behind here okay so what do we have here well first of all we have this short cable and this short cable those are the two cables I talked to you before this is what Ronald made me so they fit perfectly this one is going from the preamp to the power amp and this one is going from the preamp to the tuner the white one over here is going to the CD player the black one right over here is going to the uh, blue sound the streamer and what is interesting I have this power cable right over here feeding the preamp but next to it you see there is a power outlet that will have you feed it into the tuner in this case and next to it you see another power outlet which you can use to feed the other one so you could do with just one power cable feeding the whole system um, I'm using two one for the uh, power amp one for the preamp and that's more or less all that I can tell you about it up there in the corner is where you can put your uh, phono player and you can have different modules for that and you have two over here for the uh, the tape but strangely enough there is another connection right over there but the manual does not say what it's for so if you have one of these and you know what that one is for because there is um, three inputs 
you have the um, the tuner, the CD player, and the um, the tape, and then you have right over there the phono. And if we go to the front over here, you see there is the radio, the record player, CD, and tape. So I'm not sure what that one uh, is for, but. Um, oh, and below here you can see the outputs for the um, loudspeakers. And strangely enough, they have this for the right side loudspeaker and they have this for the left side loudspeaker. But you should think you connect this one to the loudspeaker right over there. But this is the right side. And that is, of course, the left side, if you are sitting in front of the system. So I don't know what that's about. Giving you a last look. You can see, can you see over here? There should be a back covering all this. And then you have this opening right over here that you can put all your cables out. But with all the modern cables like this, it's impossible to uh, use that back. If you have very, well, the cheap cables, they will fit, but this doesn't fit. Okay. Um, do a little sound check. Let's see if it works. <laughs> Crush me some ice, skin me a peach, save the fast for my pillow. Stop me a smoke, talk to me nice. You gotta wind me and dine me. Don't try to fool me. Be good me, either amuse me or lose me. I'm getting hungry, fill me a grave. As you can see, because the um, sensitivity of the loudspeakers is pretty low, 87 dB, something like that, um, I have to crank it open further than I ever had with other loudspeakers. Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, review this, put this also in the review. And as you can see right over here, I have some more quads. And this afternoon somebody is going to pick this trio up because I sold it. So what is this? These are two, the top and the middle one, two FM4 radios and a quad 306. The power amp is still working, but it really needs uh, attention because it's making strange noises. One of the radios is working and one of them is not. And if we look at the rear, it's interesting that this is what most of the older quad equipment has these DIN um, connections. But later on, they changed it to these analog outputs. So that was a big thing. This is what the rear of the power amp looks like. And I'm guessing that the previous owner of this set was scared that it got stolen. So what he did, he keyed his zip code into the side of these three units, which is of course terrible. It's not something you can wash off. It's really carved in there. 
I can only imagine why we, why you would do that is to be afraid that it is stolen. I don't know. Another reason to sell this uh, trio because, of course, I want to have it look beautiful on the side as well. Okay, so that's all for today. It's a cloudy day in Rotterdam. I'm going to work in an hour, so I have to hurry. I hope you enjoyed this little video and I'll see you next week.